sits over his house. So I know I did just change these, like we've been doing records on this stuff. And um, but yeah, just on the road, I'm using input clears for my the other gig, my like road gig. Right. Um, and that, but that's more of a, it's more like a southern rock job. Yeah. So I'm playing input clears and then basker bottoms again. But you know, and two, I've, um, one of my friends, the Big Evans guy, he swears by all the Genera series stuff too. You know, I've been with, with Remo for a long time, so I'm, um, I've just been fooling around with some other, just other styles of like the diplomats for jazz. I never right. use those. I'm not like right. they're incredible yeah, for they like are, a jazz. Yeah, they sound real good for jazz. So you, know, you hear all these guys, uh, all these, those types of groups. Yeah, I mean, the ambassadors are funny. You know, as a as a uh, top head of two, the ambassador coded. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. You know, like I session stuff, I love. Right. You know, live is pain because they go out of tune so yeah, fast really. and they, they pit real easily. You know, so it just kind of depends on the volume of what I'm doing. Okay. Believe me, I'm, so I'm too lazy half the time to change my no, exactly. so, yeah. It's like, you should change the drum head. I can't stand to do it myself. Oh, gosh, I think we all, it's like the band of our existence. <laughs> me, you think about guitar players, they've got it much worse constantly changing strings. So oh, I guess yeah. I shouldn't complain. I got a guy I play with, he changes strings between every set. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's yeah. impressive. That's dedication. <laughs> it's only because he gets them for free. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah, that, 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 that always helps. He was paying for them, he wouldn't be. That's for sure. That's one little shame. I'm the director here at Studio Percussion, and I want to welcome you to uh, another Tom Purse Clinic. We've done this before with them. Um, actually, that was in combination with uh, a guy from New York. Oh, gosh. Jim Payne. Jim Payne. Yeah, Jim Payne. So we had a clinic, I don't know, maybe a year ago. But Jim Payne and Tom came in and did some stuff with Jim Payne, and that was really cool. But uh, Tom's a local uh, drummer celeb. Uh, he's played with <laughs> lots of people. He's been all over the place. He could tell you a lot more about it than I could for sure. But right now he's uh, touring with uh, Bucky Cummington, who's an American Idol guy. Um, also did some work with uh, Trent Tomlinson. You're still doing stuff with him, maybe the yeah, right or something? Yeah, we're pretty much we finished up. I was with him about the last six months. So. Okay, cool. So Tom has been around. He's done everything from drum corps, middle school band, professional drum set playing, orchestral per uh, percussion, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, you're in for a real treat. So I'm going to uh, hand it over to Tom. The agenda for today is we're going to let Tom do his thing for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Then we're going to break for about 10 minutes, and then when we come back, you guys can have him do whatever you want him to do. You can ask him questions, you can ask him to demonstrate stuff, uh, you know, whatever's, you know, bugging you, itching you, you can talk to him about that, okay? All right, thanks guys. Tom Hurst. See you guys. Thanks so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. I know the holidays, too, especially as busy as everybody is, I really appreciate the, the turnout. Um, right off, I'd like to again thank Tobin, the entire studio percussion staff. Let's give them a hand. I mean, I really Again, for all the younger people, I was just talking to Kyle, so it's like, it's like, it makes me think when I look and see you know, John Sterling, a lot of the younger the younger players that I know here, it's like it's so neat to have this kind of stuff, because I know, you know I grew up here too, so I mean, I, you didn't, uh, in my time it was Sabine Music, many of you may know like Sabine, they make the tutors and stuff, well they were the music store in town when I was here, so it's just so cool to have this, and Tobin just does an amazing job, you see, like I always tell him, I'm like, man, you put into action all the things I talk about. It's like, you know, I, I consider I'm talking a good game, so I really have, have to say how much I admire it. Um, as far as today, like, one of the things, I am I'm you know, go to a lot of the drum clinics, a lot of these DVDs and stuff. I know the thing I kind of am not very into, and he always didn't, it pushes me to do it, is like, I go and when the guy sits down and plays for like 20 minutes and says, any questions? I, you know, I kind of hate that. So please, by all means, you guys let me know, too, as we go along. Don't feel like you guys are interject if you've got questions. We'll do the Q&A and more of a demo thing, and I'd love to have you get involved, too. Be, don't, you know, like I said, I know how it can be. It's kind of intimidating, you know, for especially younger players, you know, to, to get up and maybe play with, with a clinician or anybody like that. But again, remember, gang, I'm just like, oh, I mean, this stuff here, that's the stuff we've been running is my uh, little kind of personal project I'm involved in. It's kind of labor of love. And, Believe me, I'm mean, sitting listening to that a couple times and hear lots and lots and lots of mistakes. You know, I, I'm I don't have it all figured out by any stretch. So 
my biggest goal today was just to kind of maybe turn you on to some things that I'm into in, in terms of how I approach drumming, coordination, things that I know tend to be difficult, you know, difficulties for all of us. And at the end of the day, I know most of us are not, you know, we're not, most of the time you're not really worried about being a working player per se, right? I mean, what's, what's everybody's, what would be your main goal when you play drums? I mean, like, what's like, what are you trying to get out of it when you, what, what to you is a good day drum? I just want to improve every day. Exactly. And I mean, and why? Because I enjoy it. Right. That's the key. I mean, that's really it. It's not about making money. It's not about, man, because, you know, anybody that knows anything about music knows that, boy, it's not about making money. You know, by all means, I'm the first one who'll stand right next to any parent and tell you, go to school, <laughs> you know, get a trade, learn everything else, and play music. Because that's the coolest thing about it is that no one can take that from you. Your music is your cherished thing. Now, that said, I'm lucky. I do get to do, you know, some touring work with people, but people, Jeff and I have known each other for years, by the way, a phenomenal drummer. <laughs> Got to props up. Um, I mean, would you not say, Jeff? I mean, it's like when you play in, in settings, it's always, it's very difficult to come by a consistent gig. Sometimes going to be with somebody, sometimes not, you know? And so you better be playing because you love it and it's your thing. So to kind of explain that, I'm going to start off with the goofy kit. I've had people ask me a couple of the staff comments to me about the kit. This is not what I toured with. This is my fun. This is kind of to me, this is like when I'm, you know, when I'm like, man, what do I like to have? I always am trying to think of things that inspire me. Right now, I'm has anybody seen the, these, uh, heard of the Gospel Chops website and DVDs, the Shed Sessions? I know Jeff, because we were talking about it. But anybody else? Do yourself a favor. Was it gospelchops.com? Go to it. <laughs> Some of the most amazing drummers I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just blow my mind. And that's, I'm kind of on a big trip right now with that. So this drum set is kind of set up. I, I've, always, I've always been kind of a minimalist. Most people who, who know me working around town, I'll generally show up with maybe two snare drums, a hi-hat, and like a crash ride somewhere on a bass drum. No toms. I honestly go to a lot of gigs that way, and, and it's, to be perfectly candid, it's so that I can be the first guy out the door, you know, basically, you know, see if I can beat the guitar players out and get, get on the way home. And I think you've all heard it. you probably watched these DVDs. Most clinicians will tell you, we all start out in high school stuff, you keep adding all these drums, you get this massive kit. As soon as you start going out, and if you are going to be a working player, it's amazing how that kit shrinks down. <laughs> it's like he's getting, I've, I've, toured, I've done many, many, many jobs with that little bass drum and, and the snare drum and hi hat. So that's one of the things I wanted to tell you just up front for the younger players too. You know, please don't. The array of stuff really isn't. At the end of the day, it's still about you know, can you do this? You know, any of the older people, you've all heard that. It's like the oldest cliche in the book. You know, less is more, less is more. Well, that's great. Well, but we're a bunch of drummers, and we like some more sometimes too. You know, there's nothing wrong with more. And that's so. This the approach I've kind of got going here, just for. And again, I'm kind of doing this for people that are a little new to this. I'm going for some different sounds with this drum setup. So you've got different timbres, just like um, you know, like any kind of any percussion person. You know, there. Same thing. Maybe. I'm trying to just to, to me. I almost think of these sometimes as like timbales and things of that sort. Then I'm still using just the same. Basically, it's a five-piece drum set at the end of the day. Just the standard, you know, that you're going to get out of the box. Nothing special with cymbals other than a little bit of effects. But this kick drum is kind of just for, again, a timbre change. I like, you know, if you, uh, they were running the Jojo Mayer. How many, how many people here know who that is? The guy out there, Jojo Mayer, right? Amazing drummer. I really, that's, that guy's doing some neat stuff. And that's kind of, that's again, he's, to me, that's the kind of music I really get turned on by as well. Because it's very groove oriented. And he utilizes a lot of jazz influences in his playing. A lot of gospel influences. And of course, like all the house, break beat, you know, modern dance style stuff. So you can... I like to try and create that kind of effect. Like if I had something like, um, by the way, I love metronomes. I like tempo. I like like trying to play time. 